Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Michelle from Chasing Solana and I just want to share something with you guys today. So I lost my Moldavite ring, okay? And this is the third crystal that I've lost. The first one, it was actually stolen from me. The second one, I lost it while it was my Labradorite my labradorite ring. I lost it while I was um, shopping for other rings at TJ Maxx like a few months ago and I loved that ring so much. The first crystal that was stolen was an amethyst, small amethyst piece, right? And then today I lost my Moldavite ring and you guys, my heart literally broke in half because if you guys have seen my previous videos on Moldavite, you know just how transformational Moldavite has been in my life. It has been a crystal in my life that literally catalyzed my spiritual awakening. It led to so many transformations and so many new things. It has been an eye-opening crystal for me in my life. And so when I realized that it wasn't on my finger anymore, you can see like I have like a, a little tan because I wear it all the time. So when I realized it wasn't on my finger anymore, ooh, my heart just broke into little pieces. So that was my initial reaction, right? <sighs> just feeling so sad and just so broken because I'm just like, oh, you know, it's always hard when we lose things that are meaningful to us or that have been so significant in our lives. So after, you know, I kind of had my little breakdown like why is this happening for me there goes Sophie um I was like okay universe what are you trying to teach me from this what can I learn from this lesson because I know there's a reason why you know this happened but before I thought about that like I went and I retraced my steps I looked everywhere in my house I had went out for a walk twice today so I went back you know down my path looked for it. I'm like, I'm never going to find it out here. So anyway, after I got over that and I started to ask the universe, what are you trying to teach me? What lesson is in this, right? And what came to me is the art of letting go, being able to let go of things and not have any attachment. This goes back, you guys know I talk about yoga a lot. So this goes back to one of the five yamas, aparigraha, non-possessiveness, which essentially means like we don't own anything and the more attachment we have to something the more power it holds over us right so when we are able to live a life where we aren't attached to the outcomes we're not atta attached to material things we aren't attached to people life is so much more freeing right we we're able to live more peacefully because we don't have these things that we're kind of like bonded to because anytime you're attached or bonded to something it has some degree of power over you right so um i started to think of the art of letting go the the art of understanding that as i always say things come and go and um life is all about seasons and cycles and sometimes there are things that are in our life for a cycle or a season, just temporarily, just to teach us something. So after I had that thought and that realization, I just was thankful and I was grateful. I I, I basically, um, what I did was I called my power back from my Moldavite ring because, you know, I was like, whoever finds it, maybe they need it more than I do, okay? It did so much for me in my life and maybe that, you know, we the time that we had together was enough i've had my moldavite ring since um the end of june of last year so almost 18 months i've had it right so i was just like you know calling my power back thanking my moldavite ring the energy of, of the crystal for being so transformative in my life and being such a blessing in my life because it really has been a blessing in my life and i just you know sent out prayers that whoever finds it they will experience um, similar transformation in their life as well. And then I was like, you know, if you aren't gone from me, my Moldavite ring, I'm sure that I'll find you whenever the time comes. And I'm so grateful, you know, just expressing as much gratitude as I can, guys, 
because I wanted to keep my vibration high because initially my vibration had, it was up here. And then when I realized I lost it, all the way down, right? So I didn't want to stay in that low vibration, right? So then I start to express gratitude for everything that my ring has done for me, okay? And then I thought about, okay, well, how can I move on from this? But before I thought about that, I'm not gonna lie, I did get online and I started looking for Moldavite rings to buy because uh, it's just, it, it has been such a blessing in my life. But, you know, I, I had the feeling like, okay, that's not what I need to do. So after that, I um, let it go for a little bit. I let it go. I tried to distract myself. And then I found myself looking all over my house again. You guys, lo and behold, my Moldavite ring. I found it. It was underneath my stove. Underneath my stove. And... I don't know how in the world it ended up underneath my stove, but I don't really care. I just know that I am so thankful to have found it and I learned a very important lesson today. So again, the first lesson is the art of letting go, not having any attachment to things. Second lesson is being able to shift your reality. So from me being in such a place of despair and sadness, shifting my reality into a place of gratitude and happiness being able to raise my vibration just like that just by practicing gratitude you guys and then the third thing that i learned was don't give up okay if there is something that you want and you are determined keep working at it okay keep working keep seeking the answers keep searching keep at it okay persistence and perseverance wins and it pays off sometimes yes we do need to let things go but if it is something that you feel called to do if it is something that is very important to you keep at it okay because in the end it will pay off if i had decided that i'm not going to look for my ring anymore i wouldn't have found it okay i wouldn't have found it underneath the stove but you know i think what happened was after i um gained the lessons that i needed to learn from this temporary loss of my moldavite ring then it was like okay i taught you here I am, here you go. So sometimes our crystals will do that, you guys. If you work with crystals, you know, sometimes they, they're they gone, really, they're gone because maybe somebody else needs them more than you do. And then sometimes they disappear in order to teach us a lesson. And Moldavite especially has a habit of doing that. This is actually my first time having this incident with my Moldavite. Hopefully I don't have it again, but you know, whatever happens, happens. But just keep in mind that sometimes crystals will temporarily disappear on you when there's something that you need to learn. And, you know, honestly, it taught me another lesson. And maybe I'll share that with you guys in the future because there's some things that I've been thinking about, but it definitely opened my eyes to that situation as well so that's all i wanted to share with you guys today i was not planning on making a video today i just planned on resting today but i just felt like i had to share this i know somebody in the comments had mentioned that they lost their moldavite and so maybe there is a lesson that you have to learn from its disappearance okay and just tune in all right tune in what i did was i tuned into its frequency i tuned into its energy and i i was like okay where is it i let my intuition guide me and it guided me to look underneath the stove and lo and behold it was there and oh i just felt so good after i found it so that's all I'm sharing with you guys today. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and thank you for watching this video. If you liked it and if you learned something from it, got a little nugget from it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that we can stay connected. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much peace, so much joy and happiness. I'm feeling so good now that I found my Moldavite ring. And even before then, once I was able to get over my little despair. So um, thank you for watching. And until the next sunrise or sunset, namaste.